Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. Today we're going to make us like a carnivore pizza. We're going to make a chicken pizza crust. My wife's been dying for pizza, so we're going to try this. And I, I like the white, uh, white sauce, so we're going to make a nice little white sauce to go with it. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so now you can see in here I've got one cup of heavy cream and I put a tablespoon of butter. Now I've been turning this on and off trying to get it. I want to reduce it by about half. And as you can see, it's still kind of liquidy and it's starting to skim, but that's okay. We're going to be mixing that up with some cheese. And the cheese I have over here, I'm going to have a mozzarella and I got some grated parm here. Uh, that's going to be for the sauce. Okay, we'll have to be a nice Alfredo sauce. And then here we got some, uh, of course, my pork rinds. I got about two ounces in there, give or take. Here I've got, I don't know, between seven and eight ounces of mixed cheese. I got some mozzarella on the bottom and some Parmesan shredded Parmesan mixed in with it. And here's about a pound of chicken, almost. Eh, maybe a little over, I don't know, but it's about a pound. And here I've got some leftover... Uh, ribeye steak here and this here is some leftover uh, stew meat that we made the other day okay so that's what we're going to top it with with some more cheese you'll see it's going to be delicious okay so I just wanted to show you a little bit about the sauce and since I started it um, and I want to show you guys you don't want to don't bring this up too high do it on low if you can you know bring it up to a nice little perk I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. It won't, won't take long. I want to reduce this. I don't want to turn it too high because you can burn the milk and you don't want that. You ruin it, everything. Uh, so anyway, we're going to bring this up. It's going to have a little perk to it. We don't want to get it totally foaming over the top of the pan. So be careful with that. At any rate, as you can see, if, I don't know if you can tell right here, the steam coming off, that's what we want. That's going to help reduce it. We're going to reduce it by steamage. You ever heard of that steamage? <laughs> All right, so we're just going to keep stirring this a little bit. I'll pull this back a little bit on the burner, get it centered. Yeah. And then I'll just let it percolate a little bit. Shouldn't, there you go. It shouldn't take long. See, it's starting to percolate. I don't know if you can see it. But it's actually starting to do its thing. See how I got the spoon there? You see the percolating little bubbles? There you go. Bing, 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 bing. Like a pancake. Okay, so anyway, we're going to just stir this a little bit. And then that's going to be, we're going to keep doing this until we reduce this by about half. It's maybe a very scant amount that it reduced by so far, but as you can see, it's steaming pretty good now. I don't know if you guys can see that really in the camera, but it's actually steaming. Now, this is the little percolating I'm talking about. See it? You don't want it any more than that. And then just keep stirring and stirring. You don't want nothing to stick on the bottom. I put the butter in there. You really don't need that, but I put that in. I think it gives it a little more richness to the sauce when it's done. And see, once it gets like this, where it's going pretty good, then I'll cut it off for a minute. And stir that around. Keep stirring, stirring, stirring. <clears throat> All right, so once that simmers down, I'll come back and do a little bit more. I usually do this all at one shot, but I don't want to get it done too ahead of the pizza time. All right. Okay, so here I got my food processor. Now, if you don't have one, <laughs> you probably use a blender, mixer, whatever uh, to do this. It should work pretty well. But anyway, I found that you get a better mix. Oh, I forgot about my eggs. So let me show you my egg. This here, I got one egg and two yolks. And when I made this before, you get two yolks. It tastes too, uh, like my wife would say, too yolky or too eggy. So we're putting the egg, two egg whites and one yolk. Okay, so first I, I like to try to get the, the cheese in there a little bit. I don't want to go too much with the cheese because then... Uh, the cheese and the, the crumbs because the cheese will actually start melting on the blade if it gets too hot <laughs> And then we're going to toss in our two ounces of my favorite and yours pork rinds. Well, notice I didn't say uh, 
panko, but what they have fine ground stuff you can buy, and they call it pork line panko. <laughs> All right, so anyway, I'm just gonna give this a quick couple of pulses. Be right back, this is kind of noisy, so I'll give you guys a break. Okay, that's just a mix of cheese and the pork rinds, and as you can see, it's a nice consistency, okay? So now we're going to put in the chicken real quick. And this is done. Now what I did with the chicken, you can use rotisserie chicken. I happened to poach this, and then after I, when I was telling my wife what we're going to do, then what does she do? <laughs> she goes and buys rotisserie chicken. But that's okay, we'll eat that up. But you can use rotisserie chicken, whatever you got. If you got chicken, I poached it. Okay, now we're gonna blend this up and then we're gonna toss the egg in there. Same thing, we're gonna pulse it. Be right back. Okay, now I'm pouring in my egg. And you want to beat this now for a few minutes. May I don't know how many. Let's say three. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna beat it until it gets to a nice, uh, a nice pasty consistency like a dough. Okay, so we've been pulsing for a little bit, and as you can see, you grab it and then give a little squeeze and see it stays nice together like that. That's what you're looking for. Okay, next step. Okay, so what I have here is I got a standard pizza pan under here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And I put uh, some parchment piece of paper up there. So I'm just going to, for right now, we're just going to uh, smooth it out with my hand. And then I probably take a rolling pin and put it on the counter and try to get it pretty well flattened out. Uh, it's going to be a decent sized pizza, I hope. No snack pie for us. This is going to be our little munch today. <laughs> our brunchy brunch. I'll be right back, eh? Okay, guys, so you can see I've been rolling it out here for a couple seconds and uh, trying to get it kind of even in thickness. Whoop. Don't push too hard. Now, if you get stuff where, like here where it starts to be cracking on the edges like this, don't worry. Don't have a conniption. Mr. Dan says no conniptions in this recipe, all right? Just take a little bit of water on your fingertips, <clears throat> and here you have it. Boom, boom. It's really the same consistency as dough, if you really, if you could feel it. <laughs> and then I push up on the edges so we can get a nice little crust once she starts cooking, see. But just take, like I said, a little bit of water. Don't drown, the, don't drown the dough. And just use that to bring your edges up. This is a little thin on this side, right here. Anyway, let me finish this up and I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so when we're done rolling it out, you just take it and slide it right up on top of your tray. And then we're going to preheat the oven. I didn't do that yet. We're going to preheat the oven at 450. And uh, we're going to pop this in for about seven or eight minutes till the bottom side gets nice and crispy. I just wanted to show you guys what I have. I have my cast iron pizza pan in there. It's plenty big enough to take that other pizza pan, but I'm going to use it as a, as a pizza stone. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can hear in the background, but the lawn guys are here. But anyway, as you can see, we have uh, our heavy cream here has kind of reduced a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just take some of the cheese a little bit at a time and just put some cheese in there until I'm going to spin it around until it melts a little. Some people turn it off. I say if you stay by the stove, you don't need to really turn it off. Just pay attention to it. Okay, so we want to melt that, and that's going to thicken her up too. And then we'll throw in some Parmigiano, Reggiano, I don't know if it's Parmigiano, Reggiano, it's Parm cheese, that's all I know. Throw some of that in there, and we'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, it's kind of percolating pretty good, so I cut the heat off, and uh, I'm just constantly stirring it here, trying to get I don't, no lumpy cheese in there. I want it all nice and creamy. I wonder if I can say that, because my daughter tells me certain words I'm not allowed to say. Don't ask me why. I have no clue. 
She said, Dad, don't you know anything? I said, no, I live like a, you know, hermit. I don't know nothing. Barely could use Facebook, huh? All right, so, as you can see, it's definitely thickened up some. I might cheat and put a little bit of uh, pepper flakes in here. I don't know yet. But this is the time if you want to do something, taste test it first. Get a little on the spoon and just give you a little dab. Nice and cheesy, that's what I'm looking for. You don't want to burn the cheese. You don't want to burn the milk. Now, like I said, if you want, you can put a little salt in here. A little pepper flake wouldn't hurt. But the pepper flakes really, you know, if you're going carnivore, they don't want you doing that. But, uh, okay, so now you can see we've got a nice cheese sauce for the pizza. And I'll probably heat this up one more time because it's going to coagulate some once it cools down. But that's the sauce. I'll let you know if we put anything else in there. I was uh, overruled. I put some salt in and then uh, someone was tipped through into the kitchen and said, I put some of them pepper flakes in there. So we got a little bit of, I put a couple pinches of pepper flakes. When I say a couple pinches, I mean a couple pinches. And I put some salt in there. Okay, guys, time to put it in the oven. Like I said, about seven or eight minutes and we're going to flip it over. Okay, so it's out of the oven. It was about nine minutes. I left it because it's this is a thicker crust than I normally make, so I left it in there for another minute or so. But as you can see around the edges, it's a little brown, so I'm going to flip this over, show you what it looks like. So what I got here is another pan. And I got a piece of parchment paper here. And I'm going to put these over the top. We'll come back over here. Dude. And let me get another thing to grab. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Has to be. Okay, so be careful of these pans. They're hot. So just flip this up. Okay. Put this over here. Out of the way for a momentito. And then we'll peel this back. And then peel. Our crust. As you can see, it's browned up pretty good. So what we're going to do here was we're going to. This is the side we're going to cheese up. All right. I'll just. Uh, I'm going to squat. I'm going to switch this back to the other pan once I let that cool a bit. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, we're going to get our cheese now. Our cheesy Alfredo sauce. And just put some of that on it. You may, you may use it all, you might not. I'm not going to go crazy. Let me turn that timer off. Okay. So here we're going to round and round with the saw, see? I don't know how much sauce you guys want in there, but I'm not going to overload it. My wife or daughter can have more if they want. There's some in there. This is all I'm going to put on here right now. But I'll tell you, it's got a nice aroma to it. So, But this is what you want. You know, you can almost pick this up, see? And trust me, it's not no, uh, you gotta remember, it's not a doughy pizza. <laughs> it's a chicken crusted pizza. But this is what, oh, this is what our carnivore people like. Alright, so here we go. Okay. So now we take some of our meat. Spread the meat around. Now this, uh, the first one I'm putting on here is the, I guess we call it the stew meat. I took a roast and we uh, did a slow cook on it. That's what this meat is. And I, then I had some leftovers and I cut it up. Chopped it up. Almost made mincemeat out of it, huh? 
Okay, then we're going to take our uh, ribeye steak that we had some left over. I'm going to put that on top. Now you guys can put whatever you like. You want onions on here? Go ahead. <laughs> it's all yours. Uh, they call this the elimination diet too, this carnivore thing. But, you know, if things don't bother, you can go slowly but surely. You can bring them back into the diet, introduce them, but uh, they really want you to stick with no plant base at all. So, uh, anything animal based, you're good to go. No salt, no plant base. Salt is good. Yeah. Okay. That's that. Now we're going to take, I got my cheese. What I did with the cheese is I, I grated, I chopped up the mozzarella cheese and the Parmesan together. So we got a nice little mix going on here. Now if you want more cheese on here too, feel free. <laughs> And yes, like I said, I did put some pepper flakes in the sauce. I put some, a little bit of salt and a couple pinches of salt in there. All right. And just because I can, I know they're going to ask for it. I'm going to put a couple little drizzles of this here right around the edges. Give it a nice flavor. And we're going to take this and put this back in for another, well, until the cheese in that, until everything's melted. Okay, guys, you can see this really crusted up nice. Nice golden color on top. The cheese is all melted. So let me give this a couple minutes to cool down and uh, we'll chop us a piece, huh? I will say one thing. Be careful when you try to get that parchment paper off from underneath because it's kind of sticking to it because it's moist or damp. So then I put it on this here tray. Well, still on the tray and it's got holes in the bottom. So hopefully... I got it up off the ground, uh, ground a little bit. Maybe some air will circulate down there. But anyway, we're going to give it a try right quick. Okay, I already sliced into one side of this bad boy. Hopefully it comes out right off of there. <laughs> Sometimes, like I said, it has a tendency to stick a little. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece right out. Look at that. It stands up pretty good. Give you guys a little side view. And if you look at it, it looks like pizza dough. Okay. Okay, we have a family project going on on the table out there. So we're going to give us a quick taste test here. We're going to pick it up. And it, it handles really nice. So as you can see... All right, let me get a bite. Mmm. Mmm. The chicken is a little bit on the dry side, but that's, you know, to be expected. We use chicken breast. But, you know, if you put more sauce or dipping sauce or whatever, it'd be El Perfecto. So, if you guys want to try this, give it a shot. Mm. And one thing, it's damn tasty. <laughs> okay. So, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. Share with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And I want you guys to stay hungry. And when you are, come back and we'll give you another delicious recipe just like this. This is Mr. Dan saying stay healthy, stay away from COVID. And we'll see you on the next video. This is Mr. Dan saying we'll see you about for now.